Good morning, football fans. Good morning, Facebook fans. We are here streaming live at Mundelein High School in beautiful Mundelein, Illinois. And you are set for a day of football. We have the TCYFL, the Chicagoland Youth Football League. We have five Super Bowl championship games at five different weight classes. And our first game is between, it's in the featherweight division. It's between north side titans and the buffalo grove bills two six and five teams that uh most thought wouldn't make it to this place north side the number four seed in their bracket defeated the top seed zion 19 to 6 to get here and the buffalo grove bills are the three seed they defeated the two seed north shore 26 to 6 to get here so we have two unsuspecting teams here and they're both six and five, and the team that gets the seven wins will be the TCYFL featherweight Super Bowl champions. The coin flip has happened. We'll be starting in a few minutes. We have an exciting day of five football Super Bowls coming up. This is the first one, the 10 o'clock slot. Buffalo Grove is the home team, coached by Jonathan Hoagie. And the north side is the away team, head coached by Sean Mansfield. Buffalo Grove will start with the ball, be going left to right. As the team's set up, the ball is placed on the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. And we are ready to go. The weather's about 28 degrees. It's a little crisp. There's no sun in sight. It's trying to peak out, but to no avail. It's a little chilly. Some might call it great football weather. And here we go. They break the huddle. Quarterback Dylan Nelson. Up, oh, and we have a we have a stop and play. Now we got we were uh, we were trying to get the chain gang in order which appears to be now. We're all set, they break the huddle, the Bills. Dylan Nelson under center. Looks like he's got uh, Lone back in the backfield. Looks like Brady Vogler, pitch to Brady Vogler. He's going left, he breaks one tackle, he gets to the outside, eventually tackled after a gain of about eight. Tackle made by uh, Looks like number uh, 87, Ezekiel Yu. Brings up uh, second and two. It was a good opening play for the Bills. They just ran straight left, strength against strength. Vogler on the carry, number 44. We're going to see a lot of him today. Buffalo Grove breaks the huddle on second and two. At the 43-yard line. Dylan Nelson under center. You got three in the backfield. Takes the snap. It's the lead. Lead back. Matthew Caput on the dive, number 42. Good enough for a first down. I think that's what they wanted to do is just get the first down, keep the sticks moving. And they were able to do that with the, with the front back. Number 42, Matthew Caput. First, well... They didn't give him the first down. It's third and about five inches. So look for the same type of play, perhaps a keeper. But there's no doubt they're going to run. Dylan Nelson brings the play back in. The Bills break the huddle. They're in a tight formation. Two backs in the backfield. Kaputs the lead back. They go to Vogler, he goes outside, he gets outside, he has enough for the first down. He sidestepped defensive end and gained about four yards and now the sticks are moving. Got out to the 48 yard line where it will be first and 10 for the Bills. Again, that was Brady Vogler. He sidestepped Nicholas Troutman, the defensive end who had a chance to get him at the line of scrimmage. 
but Vogler danced away. First down, 48-yard line. Here come the Bills. Nelson under center. He's got two in the backfield. Takes the hands off. It's a pitch, and he's passing. He's wide open. Caught, and he's still on his feet, and he's whistled down. It looks like that was a 25-yard pass play on a flea flicker. They pitched. They pitched to the back. The back threw a 25-yard pass. It completely caught north north side off guards, their defense, and 25 yards later, we have a first down in north side's territory at the 25-yard line. And the Bills, an impressive opening drive. And they're looking for more. Nelson under center, lone back. Gets the pitch. He's moving to his right. He gets around the corner. And he stopped there. Nice, nice run by Brady Vogler. Gained about... It looks like 10, 9, 10. He's right around the first yard mark. And it is a first down. So he got 10 and a half yards on first down on a pitch sweep to the right. Ball's at the 18-yard line, 13-yard line. First and 10, Bills. Impressive drive to open the, impressive drive to open the game, the Bills. Nelson under center. He's got three in the back. Gives it to the third back. And he stopped immediately at the line of scrimmage. By number 88, Nicholas Troutman. For no gain. Maybe he got a half a yard. We're looking at second and nine and a half. Here we go, Nelson's uh, in the shotgun. No, it's it's Fawcett in the shotgun. Motion right, gives it to Vogler. Around the left, he's, he, he eludes one tackler. He sees the end zone and he's got it. It's a touchdown, Bills. So the Bills come out with an impressive drive. 44, Brady Vogler. We'll be calling his name a lot and uh, Northside has to have an answer for him. So the Bills, a very impressive first drive. Pounding the ball, pounding the ball. Trick play thrown in there. And the score is six to nothing. 5-11 left in the first quarter. The Bills are attempting to kick. Extra point. There's the snap, the place, the kick. And it's short. It looked good, it just fell short. So six nothing. And we're gonna get a chance to see Northside's offense for the first time. So the Bills came out of the gun running. Very impressive drive. Vogler did carried most of the load. Matthew Kaput had a run in there. As did number 15. Eli Siegel throwing a trick play and you're up six nothing. Here's North sides setting up their offense. And there's some confusion. I think they had too many men on the field. So with 4.59 left in the first quarter, Buffalo Grove 6, north side, finally has the ball for the first time. They'll be, offense will be run by quarterback number eight, number 15, William Wigmore. He's under center. Pitches, and there's nowhere to go. Just a host of bills. It's a, a loss of almost 10. 
They gave a pitch to uh, number 86, Michael Millar, and he really had nowhere to go. The, the defense swarmed on that runner, and the momentum certainly seems to be with the Bills. North side breaks. Come to the line. Quarterback William Wigmore under center. Three running backs. They give it to the third one with two lead blockers. And, he, and he's caught after a short gain of about one and a half, we'll call it. Sets up a third in uh, about 15. So let's see what uh, what kind of play they're going to have in their arsenal here. Wigmore under center, lone back. He gets the handoff, coming left, and again, there is nowhere to go. He stopped at the line of scrimmage for no gain. Tackle made by Braden Roth right at the line of scrimmage. Now it's fourth down, and they're going to punt. And as you know, featherweight rules, there's no rushing the punter. It's just a matter of finding someone who could punt. There's the snap. The punter has it. He punts. Decent punt. It bounces. Oh, and takes a Bills bounce. Downed at the very close to midfield, the 48-yard lines. And that's where the Bills will start their second possession. There's 2.49 left in the first quarter. The Bills lead 6-0. They took their first possession and drove right down the field, scored a touchdown. They did have a 25-yard pass play on a flea flicker. And now this is their second possession. They're in Titan territory at the 48-yard line where they will start at first and 10. Fawcett in the shotgun. Motion. It's a pass. Oh, and it was a live ball. The pass was intended for number 42, Matthew Caput. And the pass was actually behind the quarterback. So it was a live ball, went right through the arms of Caput. Luckily recovered by the Bills. So the loss of five on the play set up, sets up a second. Down 15 yards, 211 left in the first quarter. The Bills come to the line of scrimmage. They're at the right hash. Nelson under center, three in the backfield. The pitch. It's it's the number 44. He makes someone miss and actually made got to the line of actually made a few yards after initially getting getting caught behind the line of scrimmage. That was number 44, Vogler. Brady Vogler on that run. Gain of about three. It's third and 12 now. And the ball's at midfield. So let's see what offensive coordinator, Coach Schubert, can dial up after dialing up that flea flicker catching north side off guards let's see what he has up his sleeve now Nelson under center there's a direct snap to Fawcett and he's making people miss and he's coming back now he's at the 40 and he gets a first down he gained 15 yards it was a direct snap direct snap to Dylan Fawcett he started out left once he, once he got to the second level, turned right, changed directions, and found another opening and got enough for the first down. First down, keeping the drive alive. It's at the 34-yard line. 45 seconds left in the first quarter. They might get one more playoff. Dylan Nelson under center now. Three backs in the backfield. 
They give it to the third back. Vogler, and he goes left. Makes somebody miss. And then he's thrown down by number 83. That's uh, Michael Millar. But he did gain uh, about four, so it's a second and six. We're coming to the end of the first quarter, and the end of the first quarter. Buffalo Grove, Bills six, north side zero. We will be back to start the second quarter. Here we go, second and six. Nelson under center. He gives to Vogler. He turns left. He finds a hole. Keeps going. He's churning his legs. Nice gain of about 12 yards for first down. And Buffalo Grove is knocking on the door again. They seem to want to put this away early. It's first and 10 from the 12-yard line. Buffalo Grove came out. Came off the bus running. Very impressive first drive. Drove down, scored. This is their second drive after Northside punted. And they're driving down, and now we're at the 17-yard line. Nelson under center, lone back is Vogler. Misdirection. They give it to Fawcett. Oh, and a really, really nice play by the defensive Tackle, number 86, defensive end, Michael Millar. Real nice play. That play had promise until Millar closed that hole. Sets up a second and nine. That play was a little slow to develop, but looked really good from my angle until Millar slammed the door shut. Second and nine, 7.54 left. Fawcett. In the shotgun formation, trips to your right. He looks, he passes to the tight end, coming out, who takes a fall. It's number 42. 44, Brady Vogler on that catch. He was in the tight end, and he just flared out to the right and couldn't keep his balance. Gain of about a half a yard. Third down and eight. 7-12 left in the second quarter. Buffalo Grove knocking on the door. They would love to go up two scores in this one. If you're north side, you, this is a huge stop. It was a low snap on that one. Number eight, David Graham, usually reliable. And Fawcett went down to get it, but fell to his knees and touched the ball. So it's a loss of uh, four yards, setting up a fourth down. And 12 from the 19-yard line. And north side looking to get their stop. They desperately need a stop. They cannot go down two scores at this point. 
Even though it's early, first half, 6-17 left, they cannot go down two scores. North side, this is a huge play. The biggest play of the game thus far. Pitches to Kaput. He goes through the middle. And he's shy of the first down. That was a very good play call, but North side was able to shut the door. And the Titans will take over. First and 10 going the other way. That was a crucial stop, and Northside Titans were able to stop the Bills. So it's first down going the other way, starting from the 10-yard line. Now for Northside, stopping them was only half the job. Now they have to put together a drive and see if they can put some points on the board. William Wigmore under center. There's a stop and play. Possibly an equipment issue with one of the Titan players. He's out. His sub is in. And we're back ready to go. William Wigmore under center. Two guy eye formation. Gives it to the lead back. Jake Riley up the middle. Gains of about one or two. Setting up a second and eight. A short two yard gain on the dive play, the lead back. And north side has to dial up some something big. They need a drive here to stay in this game. Five minutes left before half. Wigmore under center. Gives it again to the lead back. And the ball hit the ground, and there's a fumble. And it's recovered by the Buffalo Grove Bills. Well, this is a disaster for the Titans. Deep in their own territory. It was a miscommunication on the handoff between the quarterback and the running back. And the Bills subsequently now have possession the 11-yard line just under five minutes here comes Dylan Nelson under center he's got two in the backfield Fawcett takes the direct snap looks to throw oh in and out of the hands of the receiver Brings up second and 10 from the 11-yard line. They do have enough room to make a first down and not get into the end zone, but I think they'd prefer to get into the end zone. And if you're a Northside Titan fan, you need to D up right now. There's four minutes and four and a half minutes left to go in the half. And you're down one score. Dylan Nelson under center. He's got three run running backs behind him. Turns, gives it to Matthew Kaput on the dive. He gains a, a tough one and a half yards. Setting up a third and nine. Tackle was made by Ezekiel Yu on that play. Number 87, the nose tackle. The Bills break the huddle. Nelson under center, three backs. Behind him, takes the snap. Gives it to the third back. He cuts back. Brady Vogler on that carry with two lead blockers on that play. Short of the first down, but he gained about four or five yards, so it's fourth and two. This is now the biggest play of the game so far. You need to stop. You need to stop if you're the Titans. Three minutes left to go before halftime. Score is six to nothing. And if you're the Bills, you want to get it in. You want to get it in here and put a little distance before the half. Dylan Nelson under center. He's got 
three in the backfield. Oh, and there's a flag on the play. There was some movement. Looks like. Offsides on the defense. Half the distance to the goal. Gives the Bills a first down at the two yard line. Well, that changes everything. Now it's with 2.51 left in the half. The Bills have first and goal from the two. Certainly enough time to pound it in. And Nelson under center, three in the backfield. They are gonna definitely pound it in. Give to Vogler who gets into the end zone. Number 44, Brady Vogler on the run. That brings the score to 12 to nothing. And if you're a Northside Titan fan, you got your work cut out for you. 12 nothing. 238 left in the second quarter. Bills are lining up for a kick. Ryan Breezak's the kicker. It hits the upright and goes over. Number 18, Ryan Breezak on the kick. The hold is good, the snap is good, and the kick is good. That was not a double doinker, it was a single doinker, and the momentum carried it over the goalposts for the two-point conversion. Makes the score 14 to nothing, Bills lead. North side will get the ball at the 35 yard line. They have two minutes and 38 seconds and they got a lot of work to do. They got a clear backfield. William Wigmore is under center, no backs. They got four receivers to the right. Here comes motion. They give it to number 88 and he's dropped immediately. Dropped immediately. By number 78, Michael Herman. He penetrated and they tried a little misdirection and it didn't work. Lost a two on the play, set up second and 12. A minute 44 left. Second down. Wigmore under center, three in the backfield. He gives to the third back. He dances, makes his way for a few yards. That's Peyton Mansfield, number 22 on the carry. Got about two yards. Timeout called by north side. That's their first timeout of the half. They have two left, a minute 19. Let's see if uh, head coach Sean Mansfield and uh, offensive coordinator coach William Wigmore can draw up a play to change the momentum of this game because clearly the momentum is with the Buffalo Grove Bills who lead 14-0. A minute 19 left in the half. You're listening to TCYFL, the Chicagoland Youth Football League Super Bowl for the featherweight division. We're here at Mundelein High School, beautiful Mundelein, Illinois, where we have a slate of five Super Bowls on tap, which we are streaming live on Facebook. This is the first, and the Buffalo Grove Bills lead the Northside Youth Football Titans 14 to nothing. Minute 19 left, Titans break the huddle, come to the line. Quarterback William Wigmore under center, he's got three in the backfield. Takes the snap, passes to the, or hands off. Hands off to number 86, Michael Millar, and there's nowhere to go. 
The Bills defensive line certainly has come to play. Setting up fourth and 11. 55 seconds left. Wigmore under center, you got four to the left, throws it. He had four receivers to the right and ended up throwing it to the left where there was a lone receiver and he overthrew slightly on that play. Turnover on downs, Buffalo Grove actually with 42 seconds left. They have the ball on the Titan 35 yard line and they have all three timeouts. Let's see if Coach Hoagie won't try to get a quick score before the end of the half. That certainly would be demoralizing for the Titans. Well, the North Side Titans have to make some adjustments at halftime, but before that, they have to make a stop here. You got Fawcett in a shotgun formation, three receivers to the right. He throws a screen to Matthew Kaput, but there's no room to run there. Tackle made by uh, Jack Needham, number 45, who read that play perfectly. Timeout by the Bills. Loss of five on the play, set up second and 15. The ball's on the 40, 26.4 seconds to go in the half. And the Bills lead 14 to nothing. So the Bills trying to drum up some kind of play to possibly eke out another score prior to the half. It's imperative that the North Side Titans stop this drive. 26 ticks on the clock. Bills come out, Fawcett in a shotgun formation. Three receivers to the left. One back at his side, 42 Matthew Kaput. Takes the snap. Low snap, now he rolls to his right. He's running, he's running, and he's he's caught. No, no place to run, there's a flag on the play. It's holding on the offense. Low snap, bounce, Fawcett was able to handle it and contain it and then roll to his right, but all his receivers were lined up on the left. So the penalties decline. It's second or third now in 15. 17 seconds left in the half. Third and 17. The clock is running. And 10, 9, we're under 9, we're under 8. And it looks like the half. Seems to be some confusion. The clock stopped at 5.8 seconds. Coach Hoagie of Buffalo Grove is getting some clarification. It's a Bills timeout. And we'll have time for one more play. Let's see what... Uh, what the Bills coaches draw up. You got one, might as well take a shot downfield. And if you're on the north side Titan defense, you cannot let a big play happen at this juncture of the game. Down 14 nothing. Here we go, this will be the last play of the half, 5.8. You got uh, Fawcett in shotgun. One receiver out to his right, motion. Ball is down. And the clock struck zero. It brings us to the half. So here we are at halftime of the first game for TCYFL 
Super Bowl Sunday, the featherweight division at the half. Buffalo Grove leads north side 14 to nothing. We will return to provide you the second half. Oh, we got one more play. Buffalo Grove's out in the field. Fawcett takes the snap. He unloads down the field. Oh, and it's incomplete. Broken up by number 44. J.D. Jones on the breakup. That will bring us to halftime. The Buffalo Grove Bills 14. North side Titans 0. We will be back to provide you the second half. So stay tuned.
Hi, welcome back. We are here at Mundelein High School in beautiful Mundelein, Illinois, for the second half of the first of five Super Bowl games. Buffalo Grove leads 14 to nothing. The Buffalo Grove Bills versus the North Side Titans. Buffalo Grove leads 14 to nothing. The Titans will take the ball first. Featherweight rules. Ball starts on the 35-yard lines. There are no kickoffs. And that's where the Titan offense will start. We didn't see much of the Titan offense in the first half. So let's see if they made some adjustments. And they can have more success. Quarterback William Wigmore is under center. He's got three backs behind him. Gives to the second back. He goes left. Not much there. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. Good tackle by number 26, Cam, Sam Kaluzna. Gain of about one, we'll call it, so sets up a second and nine. It's a very important drive for the Northside Titans. They have to start generating some kind of offense if they're going to stay in this game. Wigmore under center. He's got three backs behind him. Takes the snap. Gives it to the second back. Gains a little bit, two, three yards, number 55. Jake Riley on that carry over the right guard. Picks up a couple, setting up a third and seven. This is a crucial first drive in the second half for the Northside Titans. They come to the line. Quarterback Wigmore under center. Lone back is number 86, Michael Millar. Takes the pitch. And he's caught from beautiful play by the defensive end. Number 16. A loss of five on the play. Now it's fourth down. Loss of seven on the play. Now it's fourth down and 15 from their own 35, 30 yard line. They've lost five yards from the original start. Fourth down, they're gonna punt. They're electing to punt. So it comes back to the Bills. They're looking to finish this thing off early. There's a snap. There's the punt. Pretty good punt. Takes the North Shore bounce, but picked up by number 44. He's getting around. He's trying. He's going right. He's got plenty of real estate. He turns the corner. He comes up. A beautiful, beautiful run by Brady Vogler, number 44. Gained about 27 yards on that punt return. The punt took a great bounce for the Titans, but the Bills player just grabbed it out of the air after the first bounce and had a lot of room to the right. So it's first and goal for the Buffalo Grove Bills. They have the ball and the lead with six and a half minutes left in the third quarter. They come to the line. Dylan Fawcett, quarterback in the shock. Dylan Nelson, under center, gives the ball to Dylan Fawcett, running right. He finds the hole. He comes back left. He goes back right. A beautiful 11-yard, 12-yard run by Dylan Fawcett. He, he was running right, then he's running left, then he's running right. Another first down for the Bills. A lot is working right for the Buffalo Grove Bills today. And if you're a Northside Titan fan, they need a big play. Timeout, Buffalo Grove. 6-11 left in the third. I think the Bills coaching staff knows that this could be a crucial possession for them if they're able to put the ball in the end zone. It could just make the game out of reach for the Northside Titans who are down 14-0. 
So this is imperative that they make their best defensive stop at this time. We got a f first and 10. Ball's on the 22-yard line. After a beautiful 25-yard punt return by Brady Vogler. Dylan Fawcett with a nice 12-yard run, and here we are. Dylan Nelson under center. He's got three in the backfield. And they're able to, Buffalo Grove is able to pull north side offsides. So they get a quick five yards, setting up first and five. Ball's now at the 16 yard line, 17 yard line. And the Bills come up to the line. Dylan Nelson under center, same three backs behind him. Takes the snap, wheels, gives the, it looked like a botched handoff. And so Dylan Nelson found himself with the ball standing in the backfield. Instinctively, he turned and ran. Lost three yards on the play, but it could have been much worse. If you're north side, you need to make a stand right now if you want to stay in this game. 541 left in the third, 14 nothing, Buffalo Grove. And Buffalo Grove is on the move again. Dylan Nelson under center, he's got three backs behind him. Gives to the third back, number 44. Brady Vogler. Goes for one or two. Stopped by the nose tackle, Ezekiel Yu on the play. Third down, six yards to go. This is a huge, huge stop needed right now. North side, Titans defense. Dylan Nelson under center, three backs behind him. Gives to the third back. He cuts right, he finds a hole, he finds an opening, makes his way all the way close to the goal line. The pulling guard on that play looked to be Braden Frizzell. But there's a flag on the play. It's a block on the back against the Buffalo Grove Bills, and they're bringing it back. 10-yard loss. Ball is now at the 12-yard line. He's still got enough for the first down. But they were at the 2, and now they're at the 12. But it's first and 10, and the Bills are driving again. Titans need a big play. Bills come to the line. Dylan Nelson under center. Three backs in the backfield. Gives to the lead back. Matthew Kaput on a dive. He goes for a rough two yards to the 10 where he stopped. By Ezekiel Yu, the nose tackle, number 87. Second and eight from the 10-yard line. The Northside Titans are in need of a stop, and better yet, a huge. Buffalo Grove breaks the, s breaks the huddle. Dylan Nelson comes to the line. Lone back is number 44. Vogler takes, oh, and he's immediately tackled on the play. By number 44, a north side. J.D. Jones, the middle linebacker, blitzed on that play, came right over the top. 
untouched and tackled Dylan Nelson before he could even turn and hand off the ball. Loss of one on the play. And that's the kind of big play the Titans need right now. Great play by J.D. Jones, the middle linebacker, number 44. We, he needs another play like that or somebody else to step up. Buffalo Grove breaks the huddle. Dylan Fawcett in the shotgun. Motion left. He gives the ball to Vogler, 44, who cuts inside, and he's caught from behind. Nice play by Ezekiel Yu, the nose tackle. He moved laterally along the line of scrimmage and was able to catch Vogler from behind after a gain of two. Timeout, Buffalo Grove. Again, they're feeling like this is an imperative situation. They got fourth down and eight yards. They're on the nine yard line. They would love to put this in and it just might be enough for them to be the Super Bowl champs. But North side is not going along with that plan. They have plans of their own to be Super Bowl champs. And what they need to make that plan happen is a stop right now on fourth down. But again, that's only half the work. Then they got to get their offense going. So here we are. Buffalo Grove. They're going for a field goal. They come out and they're setting up for a field goal. Number 13, Ryan. He kicks up. And it's shy. It's short. Great strategy. Ryan Brzezak, the kicker, kicked it and it was about five yards too short. But definitely a, a good strategy. A successful field goal would have made the score 17 to nothing and would have put a, made it a three possession game. So I like the effort, turnover on downs. Northside did make the st defensive stop that they needed. Got first and 10 at the 20 yard line. And now we gotta get some offense out of them. William Wigmore, the quarterback. The lone back is Michael Millar, number 86. Wigmore under center. Lone back in the backfield. He passes. And it's incomplete. Broken up by number 44. Brady Vogler. That ball was thrown a little too high, kind of up for grabs. We had a jump ball and nobody was able to come down with it. Second and 10 from the 20. A minute 57 left in the third quarter. We need to see some offense from the north side Titans. William Wigmore under center. Own back is Michael Millar. He passes. Again, another jump ball intended for Michael Millar on that play. Ball intended for Ezekiel Yu, number 87. Nagaruna Makari, number four, there for the defense. Third and 10. It's a reverse, and he's wide open. He's got a lot of feel. He's going down to the 30. He's down to the 40. He breaks it free. Beautiful 28-yard run by number 86, Michael Millar. First and 10, that's just the play that Northside needed. 
Maybe they'll spark them. Minute 12 left in the third. They finally got a first down at the 46. And they're looking for more. That was a well-designed play. The right side of the Bills defense bit on that. And they were able to get the corner. Here they come. Wigmore under center. He's looking to pass. He throws it. Oh, and he was hit while he, as he threw it, he was hit. And there's a player down on the field. New football, the rest of the players take a knee. We tend to the injured player. He stood in the pocket. William Wigmore stood in the pocket. And threw, he threw it a little bit earlier than he wanted to. And it was a little short. I think he was feeling the pressure. The Bills defense was putting the pressure on. Got rid of it, a little short, incomplete pass. I like the fact that they're trying to pass a little bit more, opening up the defense a little bit. We'll set up something else. He looks to be okay. The player's up, walking on his own. North side, eager to start to play. They seem to have the momentum right now. Here we go, second and 10. 44 seconds left in the third. Ball's on the 46 yard line. A flag was thrown. Offsides on the defense. Five yards. Puts the ball just past the 50 yard line. North side is in Buffalo Grove territory. 41 seconds to go in the third quarter. Second and five. Wigmore under center. Gives the ball to Michael Millar. He grinds out a nice five yard run right up the middle. Tackle by number 42, Matthew Caput. Sets up a third and short. 18 seconds left in the third. Northside trying to get the playoff before the end of the quarter. They were up to the line, we're under 10 seconds. Wigmore under center, five seconds, takes the snap, gives it to the lead black back. It's number 86, Michael Millard, game enough for the first down. 1.9 left in the quarter, and that's where we will end. Third quarter is in the books. The Buffalo Grove Bills are one quarter away from being the Super Bowl champs in the TCYFL featherweight division. But the North Side Titans are gonna have something to say about that. They have the ball and they're driving. They're in Bill's territory. A score would make it a one possession game and put the Titans in a position to win their Super Bowl. Both teams are six and five coming into this game and both coming off upset victories over the number one and number two seeds. They here are the number three and number four seeds. Fourth quarter, north side will have the ball, retain possession of the ball. First down from the Buffalo Grove 43 yard line, first and 10. As Michael Millar just ran enough for a first down. William Wigmore under center. The lone back is Millar. He, he's going to pass. He sets up. He passes. It's complete. It's complete. A nice 15-yard pass play. Complete to Tyler Martin. 
Ball's at the 32-yard line. And Northside is pumping some life into their team right now. Wigmore under center. Millar the lone back. He gets the ball up the middle. He's got a little bit of a hole, and he's grinding out some yardage. A tough five yards he made on that play. Kept churning his legs, grinding out the yards. And you could sense a little bit of momentum on the north side team side. Second down and six. They come to the line, Wigmore under center. The lone back is Millar. Motion handoff. Looks like he keeps the ball. That was number 22 on that carry, Peyton Mansfield. Gets enough for the first down. First and 10. On the 21 yard line, the Titans are threatening finally. First and 10, 7.46 left in the game. Wigmore under center. Gives it to Millar. He sidesteps one defender, but can't sidestep the linebackers. Gains one yard. Ball's placed on the 20, sets up second and nine. 7.24 left in the game. The clock is running, so time becomes a factor. They desperately need a score here. This is their best field position they've had. They're actually moving the sticks. Some creative play calling. William Wigmore under center, blown back. Is Mansfield. The reverse is coming the other way. It looks like third down on the Titans, third and seven. This is a big, crucial two-play series right here. Wigmore in the center, gives it to Millar, and he's immediately hit by number two, Braden Frizzell. But there's a flag on the play. A holding on the offense. Defensive end. Defensive end, number two, Braden Fazell. Got held, broke through that, came in the backfield, made the tackle for a loss. Loss of five on the play, sets up fourth down and 11. Well, this is it. Northside needs a big play right now. Six minutes left in the game. They're down 14-0. This is the deepest they've been in Buffalo Grove territory. But it's a fourth and 11 from the 21-yard line. Takes the snap. He's going to be a pass. He throws it. And it's caught! And it's caught in traffic. Ezekiel U on the catch, number 87. It's just enough for a first down. He, there was three Bills defenders there, and it basically was a jump ball, and Ezekiel U was able to jump highest. First and goal inside the 10, and Northside desperately needs a score. 5.44 left. Wigmore under center. Gives it to the first guy. Dive play. Jake Riley on the carry, number 55. Two tough yards. Second and goal from the seven. 525 left in the fourth quarter. 525, 520 separates the Bills from a Super Bowl championship. But Northside has other ideas. They're down to the seven yard line. 
This is their best drive of the day. This is their only drive of the day. Wigmore under center. Lone back is Millar. Pitch to Millar, and he passes. It hit the ground. Millar took the handoff, was going to pass it. Got pressure from the defensive end. Number two, Braden Fazell, made him lead, throw the ball a little bit too early, and he underthrew it, and it bounced. The receiver was open in the end zone. He had to come back in the field of play to try to catch that, and it bounced. That sets up third and goal from the seven. If you remember earlier, Buffalo Grove did a flea flicker that worked for a 25-yard gain. North side almost had one for a touchdown. Here we go, here's the handoff. Number 22, Peyton Mansfield really has nowhere to go. Brings up fourth and goal. Four minutes left, fourth and goal from the seven yard line. Timeout, Northside Titans, four minutes on the dot. This is, this is the biggest play to date of this game. Four minutes to play. Buffalo Grove leads Northside 14 to nothing, but Northside has got a fourth and goal from the seven. A stop here by Buffalo Grove would certainly put them in a position to win. Northside. Desperately needs a score to stay close in this game as the clock becomes their enemy as well. The Bills defense comes out and here comes the Titan offense. William Wigmore who will no doubt be under center. Michael Millar. Nope, I'm sorry, Peyton Mansfield's lone back. Number 22 is the lone back. Wigmore under center. He's looking, he's looking, he's nowhere to go. And number 44, Brady Vogler sacks the quarterback for a loss. It looked like there was some miscommunication on the play. Mansfield went right and the quarterback turned to pitch it to his left. And Wigmore realizing that there was no back there, turned to take the ball himself and was greeted very rudely by Brady Vogel. First down, Buffalo Grove. Now the Titans need a big time defensive play. Nelson under center, offsides. Middle linebacker J.D. Jones looked like he was blitzing on that play, but he went a little too early. Offsides, five yards for the Bills. Clock stops at 346 left in the game. Clock's running. Dylan Nelson under center. Three in the backfield. Gives the ball to Dylan Fawcett, shakes one. Shakes two and then hits the third guy, got him. Loss of one. Or gain of one. Sets up second and four. That play took a little too long to develop. We're three minutes away from our first TCYFL Super Bowl game on this Sunday. Buffalo Grove 14, north side zero, under three minutes to play. Buffalo Grove has the ball, second and four. Nelson takes the snap, hands it to Vogler, or hands it to Fawcett. Fawcett dances, dances, gets enough for the first down. Yeah. 
There's a player down. North side player down. Fawcett wheeling and dealing enough for a first down. He needed four. He got four and a half. Ball's at the 26-yard line. One more first down by the Bills. Could put this away. They lead 14 nothing. 2.45 left in the game. Northside Titans desperately need a big defensive play. If you're the Bills, you just want to hold on to that ball. If you're the Titans, you want to make something happen. The player is up, walking off on his own. That's good to see. Number 89, Aiden Askew. Defensive end. He'll have to sit out of play. Quarterback Dylan Nelson brings the play in. First and 10. They break the huddle. Dylan Nelson, quarterback under center. He's got three in the back. He takes the snap. Gives it to the third guy. Brady Vogler is dancing around. Makes, makes one person miss. The second one was number 44, J.D. Jones, the middle linebacker, who got him after a short gain of two. Sets up second and eight. The clock now is uh, working against the Titans as well. Two minutes to go in the game. Minute 58. The Bills, no doubt, will have three in the backfield. Dylan Nelson under center, three in the backfield. Look for uh, Fawcett. It's given to Fawcett. He comes right on the, on the counter. Tackled immediately by number 88, Nicholas Troutman. Third down. Timeout. Northside Titans. Third down. Minute 38 here. We're coming to you live from Mundelein High School, Mundelein, Illinois. It's the TCYFL, the Chicagoland Youth Football League, Super Bowl Sunday. We're watching the Big Ten Feather Division, North Side Titans versus the Buffalo Gro Grove Bills. The Bills are leading 14 to nothing. They have the ball at their own 32-yard line. It's third and five. And there's a minute eighty, a minute thirty-eight left in the game, and the Bills are up two scores. Have the ball. It's third down. It's imperative for the Northside Titans to make a stop here. This is the last chance, and they still might not have enough time. Three in the backfield. Dylan Nelson under center. Little motion left. Give it to Matthew Caput, number forty-two. He grinds out two hard yards. Setting up a fourth and three. Fourth down, but the clock is running. Timeout taken by the Titans. Leaves them one timeout left. They need a stop here. It's fourth and two. Fourth and two, they need a stop. You know, the Bills, after an, a very impressive first drive, their offense has stalled a little bit.
One minute left in the game. Minute left in the game, and that should do it. Buffalo Grove just got a first down. They're in a the victory formation. Dylan Nelson takes a knee, and that should do it. 50 seconds. Northside has no way to stop the clock. The Buffalo Grove Bills are going to be the TCYFL Big Ten Featherweight Super Bowl champs. We'll have to run one more play. There's 30 seconds left. Dylan Thomas, Dylan Nelson, the quarterback, certainly will take a knee. And there it is. And that should do it. 20 seconds. No way to stop the clock. They're celebrating and on the Buffalo Grove side. Northside Prep should be very proud of the season that they had. Coach Sean Mansfield. Six and five, nobody expected either of these teams to be here, and here they are. Congratulations to both coaching staffs, both teams. They're, as they do the traditional handshake, sportsmanship, that's what it's all about. We will be back the next game, slated for 11.30, in the Bantam Division. Buffalo Grove Bills against the Wakanda Wildcats. So stay tuned. From Mundelein High School, we will return shortly. <laughs> 